Hello and welcome, this is a new features video for MagicAd 2.16.11 for Revit. This is a improvement to the drainage connection tools for connecting pipes and uh, uh, drainage and sewer devices to the pipes um, when using gradients and, and uh, drainage pipe work fittings etc. So um, the new enhancements of this uh, connection tool is uh, the ability to connect up devices and then select the vertical connection so it will rotate the fitting uh, should you wish. Uh, you'll see this in this uh, in this dialog box with the automat automatic offset and then choose your vertical connection as opposed to the free connection and you'll see that now in this little preview here you will get the ability to put the fitting into the vertical there. Um, example if I choose the free it will reconfigure it but this time you might you may have a clash with the other pipe work because it drops off the bottom of this particular gully and then interferes or crashes into the other two pipes um, due to the, uh, the selection of the free end. Uh, so if you click vertical it will mitigate that clash and put the vertical connection on. Again you can still choose as normal the slope or the initial slope from the device until it needs to uh, um, create the next angle down to connect into the vertical fitting. So you just press OK and you can see there what it's done. It's, it's avoided the clash and put it over the top of the other two. Similarly it will work with um, uh, a gully in this case with a side connection. Um, the previous one was a vertical uh, drop off the bottom. This one's now got a side connection. Press OK, and you can see it's done the same thing there. It's come off the side. So you can see in this view that we've actually now got perfectly vertical fittings, but then we come off at 1 in 80 and 1 in 80 as prescribed, and then the final drop to the uh, connecting pipe is done in whatever angle it needs to be to ensure that connection is made. So yeah, that's one of the uh, improvement tools to uh, that device connection. So thank you, that's the end of this uh, new features webinar.